Development of Donbass infrastructure is one of the key moments of reintegration of temporarily uncontrolled territories. Two new airports will be built in Donetsk and Lugansk regions. They will become an alternative to those located in the temporarily uncontrolled territories. The military does not allow the opening of the airport in Mariupol. They say it's not safe. Why are we going to build a powerful infrastructure in Donbass to bring investors there? And so that people, first of all, people in Donbass know that they are important for the state. People in the temporarily occupied territories, when they cross the contact line, can see the difference. Volodymyr Zelensky also commented on the resignation of the chairman of the parliament of Ukraine, Dmytro Razumkov. The servant of the people faction plans to launch the procedure for recalling the speaker from his post and has already collected a sufficient number of signatures. He was not even invited to take part in the visiting session. According to the president, Razumkov should have supported the party in the fight against the oligarchs. Partia, Maya. The party has a million questions. I heard them yesterday. Million questions to the chairman of the parliament. Not to the speaker, first of all, but a person who was delegated by this team. Today we all understand that he is not a member of this team. As for the head of the executive committee of the National Council of Reforms of Ukraine, Mikhail Saakashvili, who was detained in Georgia. According to Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukraine will do everything possible to bring him back. The president also added that he didn't know about Saakashvili's intention to go home. He considers this decision to be wrong because he represents the Ukrainian state structures. Georgian ex-president Mikhail Saakashvili was detained in Tbilisi on the 1st of October. He has been in the country for eight years and went to support his party in the local elections that took place the day before. Four criminal proceedings were open against Saakashvili in Georgia. In two of them, about beating and murder sentences were passed in absentia for a total of nine years in prison. Two more cases in particular on embezzlement of funds are in the court. Reported by Nick Starkov, Anna Isaikina, UATV News.